So for today, we're going to be looking at the Eververse. We're going to be looking at the fourth week. So for the first thing we're going to be looking at is Operation Elbrus week four, uh, complete week four of Operation Elbrus and focus Umbral Engrams at the war table in the helm using Risen Umbral Energy. Collect Risen Umbral Energy by decoding runic chests at the end of PSYOPs Battlegrounds. This one's not going to be too hard if you're following the story. I have not even done week three because I've just been uh, busy with other stuff, but yeah this is if you're following the story this is definitely not going to be hard at all uh rippling wings in the throne world collect three moths and destroy three darkness rifts this one i've i don't even know what darkness rifts are so that's pretty cool but i collected one moth and that's pretty much it so this one you would have to go to a video to look this up i know esoteric has a moth video if i remember correctly and maybe a darkness rifts i don't know uh, weapon shape three increase weapon mastery for a shaped weapon and reshape a weapon this one's not gonna be hard if you're following the crafting stuff i'm personally not really like i don't really care about the crafting in this in this it's a cool idea but there's just a lot of problems with it that really annoy me with it so if you're following this then this shouldn't be hard you should have weapons that are close to leveling or you just level it up and then after that just reshape it that's really it um Next one is mod collector, unlock artifact mods. I didn't even know I had all of them. Wild, cool. Uh, high value hunter, defeat powerful combatants in Gambit, earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets. Uh, this one may be annoying for some people. The good thing is high value hunt or the high value uh, targets are pretty simple. Specifically, there's a lot of yellow bars that you will fight in the, in the matches. And the one that gives you like 15 modes, that one specific or I think it's like 10 and above he will also count towards this this is, this is the one that they're talking about specifically so this one's not going to be hard but gambit is pretty dog shit right now so i do understand why people wouldn't want to do that uh complete any diff any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher this one depending on what your where your light level is might be annoying but uh if your light level is pretty high then just run it with another person and it's pretty simple um uh, after the challenges, we'll see which uh, nightfall it is. Iron shapes iron, complete iron banner matches, earn bonus progress for wins. This one might be annoying for some people if def if you're not high enough to like actually kill people. So this one might be annoying. Specifically, you have to kill people to win. So I don't know. This one might be rough. I haven't gotten into iron banner. This is I, it's literally like six minutes into the reset. So. Uh, calibrate marksman uh weapons scout rifles sniper rifles and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows bonus progress against guardians this one would be paired well with uh iron shapes iron if you're a masochist but i probably wouldn't do it i would probably just do it somewhere else anywhere but there or just regular crucible either way uh, that's pretty much it for the for the challenges this week nothing too crazy honestly uh i think last week was there's just a lot of stuff that I just don't really care about, to be honest. And then, uh, oh shit, I forgot to do Scorch. Uh, oh well. The Eververse is selling some pretty cool stuff. If you're wanting some old armor, then you can get the this armor right here. This armor, you can you you used to not be able to get it. You can now. Just note that the gold trim does not change color. So anything that you see that's gold will not change color, unfortunately. So. Just FYI, if you like it, that's cool, but just know that the gold does not change color. So you will have to match around the gold. As for the freebies, we're, or if I say freebies, as the, uh, for the brightness stuff, we have Jacarina, which is a really good black and white shader. If you can find armor that just does the black and white, uh, this is not a good armor set to do pair it with, but it does look decent. It doesn't look terrible. But there's specific armor sets that will make it black and white. It's probably one of the best black and white shaders if you can find armor that just does the black and white. Uh, we have Aramis Projection. We have Dastardly Stash, which is from this season. And then Metropolis Flyer, which is from this season as well, which this looks terrible. And for the other stuff, we have the Stagecoach Ornament, which looks cool. I just don't like uh, this weapon because I think it's fucking cheats. Uh, nine days and uh, nights. This is pretty cool. Uh, I definitely am thinking about getting this because I've seen some really cool uh, like mercenary sets with this helmet. It just sucks that this helmet's like awful. Um, I'll have the uh, the Titan and Warlock right now.
for the other things we have the text mechanic a shell which is okay i'm eh, looks like a treasure chest uh we have the august corsair for like that um hat wobble and then commander presence which i actually might get this one because it makes you it makes you zavala as for the shaders we have wayfarers guys which i don't like at all Def definitely did not like this last season i thought it was gross uh, we have the Abyssinian, Ab Abyssinian Gold, which is a good black shader. If you do not have a good black shader, this is a good shader. Now you guys will note that there is like brown or like, yeah, that's brown, I guess. Uh, there is like a brown color to it. So just be aware that that's a thing. So if you're not like into the, into the brown, just know that there are shaders or there are armor sets that will just make it all black. Uh, as you can see, it gives you a really dark black as well. So it's really good for shaders or for uh, cloaks, um, basically the class items. It's really good for that as well. Uh, we have the Byzantine, Byzantine uh, Lotus, which I'm not a big fan of, although I would probably rock it one day, but I just don't see that day ever happening. Uh, Smashing Success, which is a good pink and green. It's just that unfortunately when I think of pink and green, I think of the Joker, which immediately just like vibes me out of like whatever I'm thinking of. So it's a good pink, uh, especially if you go for like something like this where the helmet's just pure pink, then you can combine it with other pink shaders. Um, as for the Nightfall, let's talk about that real quick. Cause I'm, it was what, Hero, I think it was? Oh, Hero? Oh, dude, that, no, never mind. This is going to be easy. It's Glassway? Oh, it's going to be super simple, too. Yeah, Hero's super simple. So that's pretty much it. I have things I have planned. I will most likely get this helmet probably this week. Uh, if I do my bounties this week, maybe. And I will have the armor set for this, the video for it, plus the, <clears throat> the basic bitch armor as well. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point, and I'll see you guys later.